One of the reasons I went into urologic oncology is in urologic oncology, I actually get to follow my patients for years and decades. And this is one of the surgical fields that establishes kind of the longest term relationships with their patients. And that's one of the reasons why I really love it. I'm a urologic surgical oncologist, which is I'm a surgeon who takes care of tumors of the adrenal glands, the kidneys, the ureters, which are these tubes that run from the kidney to the bladder, the bladder, and obviously the prostate. And when a patient comes to me, I feel very lucky that I can offer them really uh, not just robotic surgery, not just traditional surgery, but I can offer them the best surgery that's available for their particular problem. Robotic kidney surgery, which is really a game changer. Instead of being a, making a big incision, you make just really small keyhole incisions and people go home in just a day or two. There are a certain group of patients that come in with the kidney tumors on the backside of the kidney. Um, it's a really tough spot to get, especially if it's sitting behind the blood vessels. Several years ago, we started a program here at Fox Chase to do what's called retroperitoneoscopic uh, robotic surgery. So it's a really exciting technique, allowing us access to these very hard to reach tumors. As a urologic oncology group, we do over a thousand complex urologic cancer cases a year, which is really a tremendous volume. In urologic oncology, we really pride ourselves on being uh, thought leaders. Some of the key standards that have been developed in kidney cancer were developed here at Fox Chase. Some of the ways that people communicate about kidney cancer, for instance, the renal nephrometry score that we developed several years ago is used worldwide in allowing surgeons to communicate with each other about the complexity of a, of a kidney tumor. When a patient comes to the door, I, you know, I, I really try to put myself in their shoes. Um, I try to really just do right by them. I think all of us here really just have a sense of duty to our patients where we're there for them and we're there to really get them through this uh, incredibly stressful experience.